So this is just a quick channel update and some thoughts. Right now I'm in the middle of the Sci-Fi in the 2000s video and I'm working on a retrospective of the show Captain Power for another show I'm calling One Season Wonders. Yes, I'm ripping off Todd in the Shadows and I don't care. If you're wondering why these take so long to make, it's because, well, I have a regular job. Actually, I have like three jobs, so this is something fun I do on the side. And also these videos involve a lot of research, so you know, they take a minute to produce. It also goes without saying that with everything going on, my productivity is not great. But once I'm finished with sci-fi, the next best channel to talk about networked gay is G4 and Tech TV. Because being a nerdy kid in the 90s meant you watched a lot of the sci-fi channel, and being a nerdy teenager in the 2000s meant you watched a lot of G4 and Tech TV. So it was a bit of a surprise when Friday, July 24th, the Twitter accounts for G4, X Plant Attack the Show tweeted out a video teasing G4's relaunch in 2021. Now, at the rate I get videos done, it'll probably be 2022 before I finish a video on G4 and Tech TV. So I figure I may as well make something now just to get some quick thoughts on the network, the relaunch, and what I think about the whole thing. There's not a whole lot known right now about what the G4 relaunch will involve. So far, all we know is from a story Variety published about it and an AMA on Reddit. To save you the trouble of reading the Variety article, it says G4 will be under Comcast's Spectacore division which handles sports and esports. It is also building the 3,500-seat Fusion Arena, which they claim will be the largest new construction purpose-built esports arena in the Western Hemisphere. Whatever that means. Comcast has also hired former Attack of the Show producer Brian Terwilliger and X-Play slash Attack of the Show host Brian Herter as VP of Programming and Creative Strategy and VP of Content Partnerships and Brand Development. Ooh, try fitting that on a business card. On Friday, July 31st, Blair Herter did a Reddit AMA about the G4 relaunch and told us two things. Jack and shit. And Jack left town. Seriously, he didn't answer a single question with anything of substance. Because? Well, because I don't think there's anything to say. No, I'm serious. I'd bet good money that absolutely nothing is set in stone for the new G4, and everything they're doing right now is just to gauge what interest there is in it. If you go read the AMA, it's just Blair talking about how much fun G4 was and sharing memories about the shows and people. Absolutely nothing is confirmed aside from someone asking if it would be on cable, Twitch, or YouTube, and Blair saying it'll be available to as many people as possible. He also shot down what appeared to be a fake job posting for a relaunch to tag of the show. Anyway, that's all we know for sure, which is almost nothing, aside from some kind of ARG on the G4 website where you can play Pong and you can receive emails from some guy named Phil. Everything else is just rumor and conjecture, but this being YouTube means of course I'll delve into it. First off, who else is involved? Well, judging by some vague tweets, Kevin Pereira may be involved in some form. And judging by some vague tweets, Olivia Munn may be involved in some form. And judging by some vague tweets, Adam Sessler and Morgan Webb don't give a shit. Which is understandable. When Adam left G4, the amount of bad blood between him and the network was almost legendary eventually being let go without any explanation immediately after a taping of X-Play. You may have heard the story before, but you can in the final seconds of his last episode see the moment where Adam notices the vice president of the network walking into the studio to fire him. Besides that, Adam and Morgan really look like they've moved on with their lives, so I doubt they're jumping at the chance to go back to dealing with all of that again. There's also a rumor on Reddit that Comcast is going to drop sci-fi or replace it with G4. That has to be the stupidest fucking rumor I've ever heard in my entire life. Seriously. Now, I don't have any sources at Comcast feeding me insider information, but just have some perspective on this. Sci-Fi is a brand that most people don't have great affection for anymore, but it's got a hell of a lot more value than G4 does. Because for starters, up until a week ago, G4 was dead. Whereas Sci-Fi is still producing original shows. As for my own feelings on all of this, honestly, I don't care. It's been over 10 years since I've really, like, watched or cared much about G4. You know, nothing they do is going to really affect me. So, I wish them well. I probably won't be watching. So to sum it up, at the time of writing this, we know absolutely nothing about the new G4, other than there's going to be a new G4. Unless Comcast changes their mind and kills it, which is completely possible because it's 2020, where anything and everything will probably happen.